We have a couple of news stories today about the future of NASCAR. One of them being a young driver, John Hunter Nemechek, and his future. Another about the next-gen car, the car we are looking forward to getting on track in 2022. Uh, of course, it was supposed to be the next year that we were getting it, but the, the big Rona pushed it back. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that, look at some pictures of the new car, uh, talk about some of the quotes from the guys who are driving it, Martin Truex Jr. and Kurt Busch. They are scheduled to run today, which they have. They've been running laps at the Charlotte Roval, and tomorrow they will be running uh, the next-gen car on the oval configuration. But uh, yeah, let's let's talk about what's what's broken today. John Hunter Nemechek, young driver, he was in contention for Rookie of the Year this year. Had a solid start to the year, got a few top tens, even won at Darlington, if I remember correctly. He will be leaving Front Row Motorsports uh, to pursue other adventures, I guess. It was kind of sudden, if you ask me. I thought he was going to be in this car for a couple of years, then maybe look for a better ride. But uh, no, he he's leaving now. Uh, the team owner of Front Row Motorsports, Bob Jenkins, said, We want to thank John Hunter for being a part of Front Row Motorsports and beginning his NASCAR Cup Series career with us. He certainly helped elevate our performance this past season and brought, val brought added value to our number 38 team. We wish him the best in the next phase of his in his career, and he will always be a friend of ours. So uh, they will also announce their future NASCAR plans. So... Uh, front Row Motorsports, they've had McDowell for a couple years now. He's planning to stay there. At one point, they were a three-car team last year with Matt Tift, uh, David Reagan, and Michael McDowell. And then Tift had some medical issues, and they went ahead, and Reagan retired, so they went ahead and reduced it back to a two-car team. And John Hunter Nemechek took over the 38 car for David Reagan. So they are they're currently... One driver's in the seat, and then there's another potential open seat. I don't know who's going to fill that. Um, there are some names out there that could. Cordy LaJoy is one of them, I think. Uh, but it's it's interesting to see, and with LaJoy being rumored to go to Spire, it, it's really an unknown. So I don't know what Front Row Motorsports is going to do. As for John Hunter Nemechek, here is what he had to say. I'm so thankful for the chance that Bob Jenkins, Jerry Freeze, and all our partners took on myself this past season. I would like to thank every employee for the opportunity and the hard work that they put into myself and the number 38 team at Front Row Motorsports. I am grateful for my time, relationships, and all the knowledge I have gained. I appreciate the patience of our fans with future plans to be announced at a later date. John Hunter Nemechek. I really don't know what he's planning on doing. I, there, I can't think of many open rides in the Cup Series. Just thinking right now, I... I can't think of any Cup Series teams that are open. Obviously, all the big rides have been filled up. I guess the Go Fast Racing car is available, but they're only running part-time. That Tift BJ McLeod team that's taken up the other portion of that Go Fast Racing schedule, I guess they're available. But yeah, I don't know what the future holds for John Hunter Nemechek, and uh, it seems like he's got a plan in place. I mean, he, he sounds pretty confident, but I, I think this is kind of sudden. I really didn't see this coming. I thought he'd be in this car for maybe a couple more years. I didn't see it as a long-term thing, and then him potentially, if he kept on succeeding in that 38 car, potentially moving up to a better car, better ride, and uh, trying to compete for some top 10s and stuff consistently. I don't know. But uh, yeah, John Hearn even checks out of the 38 car. He's going somewhere else. I'll update on you that as soon as we can. And now to the next-gen car. The next-gen car has been highly anticipated over the past couple of years, ever since it was announced. Um, just... We've done a couple of tests back before the pandemic started. We did some tests at Auto Club, Homestead, Richmond, Austin Dillon, Cole Custer, and William Byron, I think, have tested it so far. So all young drivers have tested this car. Some, like Austin Dillon, have been in the Cup Series a little bit younger, or longer, but are still younger. But then we got William Byron, Cole Custer, who have only been in the Cup Series, Cole Custer one year, and then uh, Byron just three years. So younger guys, but today, we had some veterans, some older guys, some guys who have been racing for quite a while in the Cup Series, Martin Truex Jr. and Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch and Martin Truex Jr. are both series champions. Kurt Busch won it back in 2004, and Martin Truex Jr. just a few years ago in 2017. So both Cup champions, both have been in different types of cars. Uh, they've been in the, the Gen 4, the Car of Tomorrow, uh, the Gen 6. So they've been in multiple cars, and they know what these different kinds of cars are like. And so they're getting to learn a new car and kind of give their input on the car, uh, how it drives, how it handles, what feels right, what feels wrong. And uh, so they've been talking about that today. Some major differences we've talked about. We know that there there is not a set package yet for this next-gen car. They've been testing different horsepower, different downforce, 
uh, different size splitters, different size spoilers, uh, different like this. Kurt Busch described it really well. Uh, Kurt Busch, go to his Twitter. He had a really good description of the, the rear end. There was something there that had to do with the car. I couldn't explain it, but um, basically any NASCAR reporter, Bob Pockris, uh, Jeff Gluck, anyone like that, you could just go look up their Twitter and they could give you all the details. But uh, Kurt Busch did a one minute video just kind of describing the car, uh, some of the differences. One of the big ones was bigger brakes uh, on the front of the car at least. And then uh, something about the rear of the car that I, I don't know. And then obviously a bigger wheel and uh, the single lug nut is something else he pointed out. So those are some of the major differences. The body obviously looks much different than our current car. The back looks a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, other than that, the horsepower, Martin Shrex Jr. said it's less horsepower than we ran a few weeks ago. So it's less than 750, but it's not quite 550. So it's somewhere in between 550 and 750. I don't know the exact number, but that's what Martin Shrex Jr. said. He said the horsepower is not 750. Um, it's not up to 750, but they also clarified that it was not down to 550. So it's somewhere in that range. And I don't know how many engines they tested. I do know that the car that... Kurt Busch ran was like a RCR NASCAR prepared car. So they have a couple different vendors that have made cars. And the Action Express built car is what Truex is running. Truex is running a Ford engine. It doesn't really matter in this scenario what engine they run. Uh, it's not tied to sponsors, not tied to cars. This is just a test session from NASCAR. It's not a specific team running a test. But uh, as I said, the Kurt Busch car is prepared by RCR. It was built by RCR. And NASCAR has been using it for tests like we saw at Homestead Auto Club Richmond. And then uh, the Action Express built car is what Truex is running. So um, obviously, you know, it's a car. It's going to go fast. It's what we're running in the future. And I'm sure between the manufacturers, there's obviously going to be different compartments in the engine and stuff. But as for now, they just want different drivers to test different cars and see how they work. Um, but yeah, that's just a few of the details on the car. As I said, looking at some of these pictures looks very similar uh, to what we're what we've seen already but something I did want to point out is um, if you look at this picture right here look at the left or the right front I'm not a expert on cars and aerodynamics but what's that on the right front on what looks like the end of the splitter it looks like something sticking up it's something I haven't seen before uh, maybe on a sports car or something, but it's something I haven't seen in NASCAR. Just curious to what that little thing sticking up on the splitter is. Uh, I don't know if it's aerodynamic help. I don't know if it's a camera, but I just found it kind of interesting to see that there. Um, but yeah, it was only on the right front. I didn't see it on the left front, but uh, yeah, if you, if you guys are car experts and you know what that is, please tell me. Uh, another detail is that they're going to have sequential shifting. It's going to be a six-speed, so... Uh, they usually have an H pattern shifter, but they are going to be going to the sequential, so they'll just be going back and forth, basically, with the shifter instead of going up, down, side, up, down, basically. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I showed you some of the pictures. I showed. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on Twitter. Just look up Next Gen Car NASCAR. Um, you could probably find it on YouTube, too. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this car. I hope we don't get the 550 high downforce package on the mile and a half. I just hope we get a good car with good racing uh, where the drivers have to drive the things and they don't just floor it the whole lap. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys have differing opinions on this car. Um, but yeah, no major details. Uh, nothing confirmed. It sounds cool. It looks cool. Um, they've run on the Charlotte Roval, so they've now tested on a couple intermediates, uh, a short track at Richmond, and then today they tested a road course. They're going to do an intermediate again tomorrow. And then I think they'll eventually test on a super speedway at Talladega or Daytona, but there's no set schedule for tests. Uh, there were supposed to be a, new, a number of tests this year, but obviously the pandemic ruined that. So uh, we really don't know uh, what what's in store, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know all the details. All I know is that the car looks cool. It sounds cool. I know a few of the details, like I told you guys earlier. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm hoping we get some great racing in the future with that car. The future of NASCAR is bright. We got some great young drivers and uh, we got a, a new car to look forward to. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it too. Uh, as for everything else, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share. We finally hit a thousand subscribers. That was cool. Um, we're at like a thousand and four or something now. But yeah, keep on hitting that like, subscribe, share button. And we'll come back and talk about the next gen car tomorrow after their test at Charlotte.